Here in the United States, we probably have between 3,000 and 4,000 native bee species. These are generally solitary bees, which means that they don't produce um, a large hive like honeybees. And there's a wild diversity. Here where I live in California, we probably have 1,500 species. And even in the city of San Francisco, there are probably 200 species of bees that you could find here. Honeybees are just a single species. They were introduced to um, North America uh, in the 1600s with some of the first colonists. And they're a single species of bee that have a very strong relationship with agriculture. They're great for agriculture because by bringing one hive of bees in, you're introducing 10,000 bees to that place. Those hive boxes contain somewhere between 10 and 20,000 bees when they're at their fullest. And since they're portable, so they can be moved around and they have so many individuals in a single box, they're a great bee for commercial uses. Our native bees are usually one queen working hard to, to gather pollen, to build her nest, to provide food for her, her larvae, which will be next year's bees. Most native bees don't have drones or workers. The only, there are a couple groups that do. The bumblebees actually do create nests and they have um, a few worker bees and they will produce males, which are, are what drones are. Um, so they have a more similar system to honeybees, but a large bumblebee nest would have 100 bees. A large honeybee nest would have 30,000. <laughs>